People have the wrong impression about what science is. People think of you in a very humorless way, do a sequence of systematic experiments, which is completely false. Science is much closer to art. It's a very creative endeavor, and so it really is like playing. You don't know what the finished work will be like, but you know it when you see it. I'm Leslie Vassal. I had the Laboratory of Neurogenetics and Behavior. And in the last 10 years, we focused exclusively on the mosquito. Incredibly fascinating, beautiful, and deadly creature that makes its living biting humans, drawing blood, and spreading disease in its wake. We study all of these different cues that humans give off, try to understand the genes that the mosquito expresses that allow her to detect those cues, the neurons that are sensitive to those cues, how those neurons interact with circuits in the brain to tell the mosquito this is absolutely a human and the human is delicious. Always in the back of our minds is how can we think about the basic biology that we're studying as a way to intervene in disease transmission. The mosquitoes that we work on uh, spread major arboviruses like dengue, yellow fever, chikungunya and Zika. These diseases really begin and end with the bite of the mosquito. I don't treat the graduate students like graduate students, really. We are all peers. My students are very independent. I need them to be very rigorous in the way they think about problems and have a real appetite for risk. I also need them to be able to fight me when I say that's a really stupid experiment. They're gonna say, I'll show you, I'll come back and show you that it was a great experiment. The art in being a great scientist is to pick the right experiment, ask the right question, pick the right problems. And the best experiments are risky and difficult and often don't work. There is no script written out for you. There's gonna be periods where things just aren't working and that's key to the development of a scientist. People come out of it having sort of, have learned from the, what it feels like to fail, come out of that free fall of failure and, and turn it around into, into a great success.